G'day YouTube, Turbo Tristan here, and in the last video you saw the radiator split. So in this video we're going to turn the radiator from looking like this to this. Okay, so in today's video we're going to install the new uh, alloy radiator which I got from eBay. Uh, this one with the shroud and the fan cost around $100 delivered. So the parts we're going to need is obviously that, some coolant, some bendy pliers to remove the hose clamps, a funnel so I can burp it, and I also went ahead and I purchased some new uh, eBay cheapo silicon radiator hoses. Now, these aren't the highest quality radiator hoses, but again, this is a budget build, and I just wanted to replace the factory ones, which uh, as old as the radiator so um, last thing I want to do is put a new radiator on with you know nice new high pressure cap and everything and then the next thing that splits would be a hose so I'll just replace it all might as well now the cars all cooled down you can see here there is a repair of some silicon which you know it did its job it's done now it's dead so we've got to replace that so what we need to do is go ahead and unscrew this take off all of these clamps there's four of those one down the bottom so i'm just going to undo this one and that one take this off take that out and then it should slide right out um, one thing i'm a little bit concerned about or not really but the only bit of DIY that I really need to do is do something with this, which um, is the control for the electric motor on the fan, but it's two wires. Should be able to connect that up to the factory plug. I might even snip the factory plug off and join it onto those so that um, everything just clips in. So I'm going to get to work doing that. All right, so I'm going to test out the new head mount, which I got for Christmas from my girlfriend. So thank you very much. So go ahead and use the quarter inch drive socket with a 10 mil. Pop that over there. Put this back in here so I don't lose it. So that's that. Pop that off. Lift that out. We'll be using that again later. Unclip the plug. And slide those on. All right, so just move that back out of the road. Reach down for the next one in the back. It's handy when you've got the right tools. So, so move that out of the road. And hopefully these pipes come off without too much of a fight. A little bit of coolant there. And this one... This one wants to be a bit of a pain. There we go. Alright, luckily there's no water in that, so it's not going to make much of a mess. Pop that off there. And there we go. Whoop. Things couldn't go perfect, could they? Okay guys, so I got the radiator out. As you just saw, really easy. Uh, one bolt, two hose clamps lifted straight out. Um, so there's the big gap down there. All right guys, radiator's out. As you can see there, I've taken the plug off, switched it over to this one. I use the same bracket there. I just drilled out that hole so it would fit that bigger bolt and put it onto there. You can see the differences here. So the shroud goes all the way 
around. This one here is, you know, one inch. This one's nearly two inches. Everything else looks the same. So here and here, the top mounting point, the bottom mounting points all there. They both have the little tap uh, to empty it out. But you can see on the side, the thickness, that's about a centimeter thick, whereas that one noticeably different. There you go, that's a much better example. So you can see the slimline fan and the huge core, whereas you've got the skinny core and then the huge fan. So a bit of a no-brainer really. So what I'm going to do before I put this into the car just to make things easy is I'm going to attach the radiator hoses and lower it in in one go rather than fight with hoses and bend them around while it's sitting in there. It's much tighter space, plus I don't want to damage the core, so I'm going to put the hoses on and then um, lower it in and fill it up. Here's the difference with the old hoses, so uh, a bit bubbled. Uh, that fitment's like not exactly the same shape, but I think we'll all agree that newer is better. This one looks a bit funny, but it was packaged up in a little ball, so it'll stretch out and go back to where it needs to go uh, and find its right path once it gets a bit of heat in there. Yamashita. It's a funny name for a hose company, but that's what it is. So we're going to chuck those. Sorry, Barkley. And we're going to put the new ones on. So bear with me. We'll go back to the head mount and I'll switch it all over. Oh, one other thing. When I went to take off the top hose, just by twisting that, it actually cracked that. So it was really brittle anyway. So it's a good thing I changed it. It was getting done anyway. I bought this weeks ago. Uh, wasn't planning to do it until I do a turbo conversion, but you know, 40 degree day and just my luck, pop. Here's the old uh, bodgy patch job there, as you can see. Did what I needed to do. Time for an upgrade.
All right, guys, so install's complete. Wasn't without the hiccups, uh, as you can see. Uh, there's no hose clamp on here or the bottom. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow when I'm out and about is just uh, run past the hardware store and grab a couple of clamps. I'll put them on, thread them up and then slide them into place, tighten them down, shouldn't be an issue. I had the car running for about 15 minutes, um, just idling, gave it a few revs up and down. Uh, didn't really open up the thermostat, so I'm a bit concerned about that. So after I've got the hose clamps on, I'll just take it for a rip up and down the block tomorrow and um, hopefully that then burps the engine again and opens the thermostat. If not, I'll have to order a thermostat or just rip that one out. We'll see. So as you can see, the install went well. All the hoses lined up perfectly. Everything fit back in the original OEM position. I even used all the original hose holder thingies, whatever they're called, there and there. The radiator overflow bottle just went straight back on its original perch. That fitted up perfectly, used all the original hose. So, don't know why everyone in America on YouTube is running Gatorade bottles, but that's perfect, there's nothing wrong with that. So we're gonna stick with that. From the front, uh, looks much better. You can see it through the bar, nice and silver or alloy and way thicker than the old junk one. So, success. So first performance mod done, even though I kind of didn't have a choice, but there you go. Um, here it's a bit easier to see with the fan shroud off, but that's the, that's the old scummy one. Looks like it's probably been chemi welded up a couple of times. Oh no, it's nice and nice and clean through the tubes. But yeah, throw that in the bin. I'll keep this fan just because you never know. Might need it for something, but I'll keep that. Um, and yeah, job done. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe button and share this with your friends online. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks heaps. See you next vid. Damn, that looks cool. So even looks pretty fast now. Thanks for watching guys. That brings us to the end of another video. So make sure that you smash the like button, click subscribe, click the bell, make sure you get notifications turned on so you don't miss a thing. It would really mean a lot to me and help the channel grow. So please do that for me. Uh, there'll be a circle popping up here or here and that's so you can subscribe, make things easier. And there'll also be a video link for another video that you might've missed. So make sure you check out all our videos, hit like, hit subscribe, Thanks very much for your support. Thanks guys.